Welcome to Castrol's Inside the Hauler. Dustin Jarrett here with JD, Jonathan Davenport. We're inside a brand new SNS hauler, man. It's like, you still got that new car smell to it. Yeah, it's, it's pretty nice. Those guys at SNS, they do a phenomenal job for us. And we changed this one up just a little bit to some things that, that we like um, for our, to better suit our race team. And, they hit it out of the park with this one. So when you say you changed it up, you guys had basically full reign over kind of customizing this thing yeah, more or less? Yeah, I mean, pretty much the the basic layout is about what everybody gets, but you know, we added some list of cabinets and I took away one countertop and added a shock cabinet just uh, just where we can work on a, on a road uh, more friendly for us, you know, then it, I always think about if we have rain outs where we can get in here and we can we can work at our tire station. I had them add a list of cabinet down here and then just where we can work on our shocks and springs and get everything all together. Mm -hmm. So if, if we are loaded up and the cars are loaded up, we can still move our pit box around or we got it to where the pit box is out of the way and we can still work on everything if we can't unload anything. So show me show me a few of these things, especially a couple sure. of those changes that you were talking about and, and that's different because we've done, you know, we've done a couple of these already. Sure. Some of them kind of look the same after mm -hmm. a while, if we're being honest, the folks watching this think that as well. So what exactly other than that, I mean, show us what is, okay. is different well, here. Uh, the, the last hauler we got, I added this cabinet so we could have shocks and springs here, like I said, where we could work mm -hmm. um, in a rain delay if we had everything in here. So. Obviously that wasn't enough room because we had shocks and springs in here. Cause we- There's never enough room. No, we just never keep enough. growing. So then we had a cabinet here and I'm, I'm sorry, we had a countertop here. So I took away the countertop and I added this in and then I added all spring racks in there. Just a few. Just, just a few, few just a few of our Bill Stein springs. You got the cooler here, Bill, the, Bill the, the refrigerator, which springs. is most important. I'm sealing the water off. That's of right. Yeah, we got the uh, guy from Gaffney got his pickles in there. Okay, his, are those his, yours? Those honey mustard pickles, they are pretty good. I don't like pickles, but those are pretty okay. good. Uh, we gotta have a few cold beer for after the after the night's over with and some Gatorade for the guys. And this is our uh, Spring Smasher Shock Dino. These Spring Smashers have become just unbelievably popular inside the hauler. I mean, yeah. something that, that you didn't see, you know, 10, 12, 15 years ago, really. Sure. Well, back 10, 12, 15 years ago, we thought grain scales was the was the ticket. So then <laughs> right. once we left the shop, you know, we would go through so many different setups, take them on and off the car, and it was so much labor intensive. So now we can run through hundreds and thousands of setups just right here and never even have to go to the race car. We can do it um, just all right here in air conditioning or heat or whatever we want to do. So it, it, it's made it a whole lot more user friendly over the years. And is that what you got a laptop sitting up right here yeah, with that, a whole bunch of wires coming <laughs> coming from it. Is that what you're doing here? Yeah, th this is our Shock Dino. Um, this is actually the one out, in, out of Jason's shop. We haven't got our new one put in yet because we've been just running wide open on the road and trying to get caught up. But um, th so yeah, that, that's our Shock Dino. And then we, we shortened up this, this countertop here because this was pretty much just a buffet table. <laughs> and so um, I added some more list of cabinets here and then we shortened this up and added another cabinet up here um, because this came almost all the way back to here. It was just wasted space, we thought. And because it was a counter, or because it was just a buffet table, exactly. as you said, yeah. and you needed, you needed more storage space for what? Uh, just, just where we can be more organized. You uh -huh. know, like we, we try to, if we need something, we can come right in here and get it. So, you know, the more organized you are, the faster things are. So we got, you know, bolts and rear end parts and hubs and just spindles and lowers and stuff that we would have in totes in here. Well, when you have a tote, then you got to open the cabinet and you got to take the tote out and lay it in the floor and take this out. Well, now all we got to do is open that and we can grab a spindle or we can grab an upper control arm or lowers. So that's a whole lot easier than say, well, we ain't got no totes in this one, but it's just a few odds and end things that we try to keep. But like I said, most of the time we, we did used to keep all, everything in totes like this right here. So like I said, you would have to pull the tote out, mm. go through it, put it back in. You was in the way of everybody, so. And if something happens in the middle of a race, especially when you're points chasing, like you've done the last few years, Time is money. Exactly, yeah. I mean, just a few seconds, few minutes could mean it's not even make, making the race uh, to get back out there. So 
Um, is it, it is everything's it, fast paced? Is it safe to say that you're? I mean, we're early in the season. Is it safe to say you're still kind of getting used to this thing too? Yeah, for sure, for sure. You know, we uh, we done some different stuff inside the truck to make it a whole lot, whole lot more better for just us in general going up and down the road traveling. But um, you know, it, it, whenever you build something new, you're going to have to do something you wanted to change or something you know is, is different. So we're still working out all those tweaks. But SNS, like I said, done a phenomenal job. We haven't had anything go wrong so far that's not self-inflicted. Meant to go back and put a dollar in your jar back here for the water I stole. He's Jonathan Davenport. I'm Dustin Jarrett, and this is Castrol's Inside the Hauler.